Well, finally back in Bama. And it feels good, I can tell you that, because I feel like I've been in prison for about a week. Man, I've been at the house for seven days now, I think. This fall, my dad stayed a lot with me just through hunting season, and he came down with coronavirus um, here, you know, eight or nine days ago. So I'm I'm guilty by default. So I've been hunkered down with him, and uh, this is the only spot I've been. This is property here in Alabama. My dad's doing good. Um, he's got mild symptoms, but he's hunkered down, ain't going nowhere. So I'm headed to the blind now, or which is about to be a blind. I'm just gonna hunker up one of these big brush piles. So don't know what to expect. I'm good with whatever. I'm just glad to be out and uh, blessed to, to to be out here hunting, and I'm excited about it. I actually, I left my dang shooting sticks. I had a little pair of shooting sticks I had for turkey season. I left at the house. I'm just looking here for options. There's a good one. Voila! Should've worked like a charm. Some bread big enough I could hit one over the head with if I had to, but a homemade shooting stick. Oh, easy saw coming in handy. Clears a bell. I ain't picky and I ain't no telling what could show up on this big clear cut. You can see all these brush piles. I'm just gonna try to get down here and get buried up in one of them where I can see the best. Get hid. I think these deer are gonna be bedded back up this draw or else over here in these thick planted pines. Edge of this big sage flat. Last thing I want to come up on is a big rattlesnake in one of these wood piles. This one right here would be ideal. You don't ever know, you know, what you'll see, obviously, every time you go to the woods, but these, this little head of woods right here is, is the only thing that's really in here for a while. I mean, everything else is just wide open, so there's got to be a bunch of deer in here. And the last video I did, what drew me to this spot was I got here and just started walking. I saw a lot of deer tracks on the edge, edge of this wood line here with these deer coming out of these woods. But this is typical southern hunting, big old clear cut. You don't ever know what's gonna show up, not much on camera. But the good thing is, there ain't no hogs on camera. I've learned them hogs will run them deer out of an area. I can shoot down to them woods if I have to and across that little this little stretch here because this big sage flat right here, right at the head of this where it meets these pines, is where when I was scouting the other day, that deer was grunting with the doe and they were like 50 yards from me. I just couldn't see them but pieces of deer and they kind of just filtered out through that sage flat. So there's no telling what may come out, but I'm not picky. I'm just thankful to be out here and glad my dad's doing good and looking forward to this afternoon. So I ain't been here five minutes. Already a bunch of does filtering out. I 
124 yards. Got another deer coming from the right. Good God. It is muggy feels like turkey season but the good lord willing this will be my last chance to hunt alabama after this morning's hunt i'm going to get tested for covid and if everything's negative i'm headed to mississippi to meet up my buddy truby having to wipe the old seat down this morning a little bit wet got the old lucky shooting stick winds are howling. Ashley just saw on the news a dang tornado hit north of here up around Birmingham. Hope everybody's all right, but I think it's done past most of it, but it's still pretty windy. We'll see.
I've killed one deer in Alabama. It was my buddy Jason over in Selma, Alabama. That was this week, about 20 years ago. <laughs> so, I'm due. Well, here comes the rain. Heck of a way to end it, ain't it? I'm headed down here to get my camera. Obviously, it got rained out here. Did not see this coming. I ain't seen a sign of life except mosquitoes. Hopefully, headed to Mississippi. About to go get a brain swab done and see if I got COVID. That'll be it for me in Bama this year. And I'm going to try to spend some more time over here next year. Unless I have COVID, I'll be back. But that'll be on the next video. I'll have to find out the results. Oh, what's that? The nasal? Uh huh. Both of them are nasal. I got to do two different nasals? Mm -hmm. Hold your breath as I swab each one, okay? Okay. Tell me Run. when. Run. All right.